Hi, I'm Margaret McPherson, a member of QCP's Board of Directors and Chairperson of tonight's gala. I became involved with QCP many years ago when my brother Tom needed services. So much has changed for people with disabilities since Queen's Centers for Progress opened in 1950. QCP today serves more than 1,200 individuals who every day enjoy an amazing variety of activities. In QCP's day programs, participants engage in dozens of activities that bring true harmony to their lives. In QCP's vocational programs, participants build skills that will help them move toward their goal of independent, self-reliant lives. You need to work in the kitchen. You get more money in the kitchen. In QCP's Children's Center, we see the magic of assistive technology engaging young people in ways that were once impossible. Number two. And then sing with Advante. Sing. 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 Sing with me. Three. And in QCP's residences, people find what could be the place they call home for many years. My brother Tom lived in one of QCP's residences. It became his home, filled with friends and warmth. Tom passed away last year. Well, Harrison, and this is Tom Hatch, my friend. Do we do a lot together? And, and what does QCP mean for you? Go out to work every day. Mm -hmm. And that's important to you? Right. Uh -huh. Make my money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and why is it he often helps Tom as Tom has some special needs? Right. I and, help him too. And why do you why do you do that? Because I like him. Oh. I want to thank all those at QCP who helped Tom through the years. I am grateful that he found his second home.